Boone Tavern Hotel in Kentucky, Hotel History 1855. Boone Tavern Hotel is owned by Berea College First College in the southern U.S. to be co-educational and racially integrated. Muhammad Ali's father, Marcellus Clay, named his son for the white Kentucky anti-slavery crusader, Cassius Marcellus Clay, won Berea College's founders. In 1904, the Kentucky State Legislature passed the day law prohibiting the education of black and white students together. The Boone Tavern Hotel is owned by Berea College and operated with student workers from the college labor program. Students earn money for books, room and board but pay no tuition valued at $25,500 per year, thanks to the generosity of donors who support Berea College's mission of providing a free high-quality education for students primarily from Appalachia who have high academic potential and limited financial resources. Berea College was founded in 1855 by abolitionists John Gregg Fee and Cassius Marcellus Clay as a liberal arts work college which charges no tuition. Berea was the first college in the southern United States to be co-educational and racially integrated. It has a full participation work-study program where students are required to work at least 10 hours per week in campus and service jobs in over 130 departments. In 1866, Berea's first full year after the Civil War, it registered 187 students, 96 African Americans and 91 whites, who took preparatory study classes to ready them for college-level courses. In 1869, the first college students were admitted, and the first bachelor's degrees were awarded in 1873. The greatest heavyweight boxer of all time, Muhammad Ali was also born Cassius Marcellus Clay. His father Marcellus Clay, a sign painter named his son for the white Kentucky anti-slavery crusader. Cassius Marcellus Clay 1810-1903, a white abolitionist who was Kentucky's greatest anti-slavery crusader and one of the founders of Berea College. In 1904, the Kentucky State Legislature's passage of the day law disrupted Berea's interracial education by prohibiting education of black and white students together. The college challenged the law in state court and further appealed to the U.S. Supreme Court in Berea College v. Kentucky. When the college failed, the college had to become a segregated school, but it set aside funds to help establish the Lincoln Institute near Louisville to educate black students. In 1925, famed advertiser Bruce Barton, a future congressman, sent a letter to 24 wealthy men in America to raise funds for the college. Every single letter was returned with a minimum of $1,000 in donations. In 1950, when the law was amended to allow integration of schools at the college level, Berea promptly resumed its integrated policies. Boone Tavern Hotel features 63 guest rooms furnished with handmade early American furniture made by Berea students in the college woodcraft shop. The Boone Tavern Restaurant is so well known for its long-standing tradition of excellent food that in 2003 it received the Duncan Hines Excellence in Hospitality Award. The Tavern Spoonbread, a cornmeal-based concoction, is so beloved, that the city holds an annual Spoonbread Festival. In order to support its extensive scholarship program, Berea College has one of the largest financial reserves of any American college when measured on a per-student basis. The endowment stands at $950 million, down from its 2007 height of $1.1 billion. The base of Berea College's finances is dependent on substantial contributions from individuals, foundations, corporations that support the mission of the college and donations from alumni. A solid investment strategy increased the endowment from $150 million in 1985 to its current amount. In 2010, the Boone Tavern Hotel was awarded LEED Gold Certification by the U.S. Green Building Council making it the first LEED Certified Hotel in Kentucky. The Boone Tavern Hotel is a member of the Historic Hotels of America and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Before the Civil War, Cassius Marcellus Clay wrote for better or worse, the black people are among us. We must educate them, for one day they will be part of our governing society. Stanley Turkle was designated as 2020 Historian of the Year by Historic Hotels of America, the official program of the National Trust for Historic Preservation, for which he was previously named in 2015 and 2014. Turkle is the most widely published hotel consultant in the United States. 
He operates his hotel consulting practice serving as an expert witness in hotel-related cases, provides asset management and hotel franchising consultation. He is certified as a Master Hotel Supplier Emeritus by the Educational Institute of the American Hotel and Lodging Association. Stan Chorkel at AOL.com 917-628-8549 His new book Great American Hotel Architects Vol. 2 has just been published. Other published hotel books Great American Hoteliers Pioneers of the Hotel Industry 2009 Built to Last 100-plus-year-old hotels in New York 2011 built to last, 100-plus-year-old hotels east of the Mississippi 2013 Hotel Mavens, Lucius M. Boomer, George C. Bolt, Oscar of the Waldorf 2014 Great American Hoteliers Vol. 2, Pioneers of the Hotel Industry 2016 built to last, 100-plus-year-old hotels west of the Mississippi 2017 Hotel Mavens Vol. 2, Henry Morrison Flagler, Henry Bradley Plant, Carl Graham Fisher 2018 Great American Hotel Architects Vol. 1 2019, Hotel Mavens, Vol. 3, Bob and Larry Tisch, Ralph Hitz, Caesar Ritz, Kurt Strand. All of these books can be ordered from Author House by visiting www.stanleyturkle.com and clicking on the book's title.